Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mazatist Austria Hungary in the Great War Redux. Now today I decided to play them, just have some fun and hopefully win the war. First focus, however, that I will take will be industrial expansion since yeah we don't have many factories and we can get to fixing the country later on, right? Well sir, what is your profession? Well, I am a crisis solver, a professional one at that. <laughs> now I will slowly start to just calm down all the minorities and all the opposition in our country so we can actually start rolling a bit. We are slowly getting rid of all the unrest, however, we still need some time because once we get rid of it, we desperately need to reform the army. Let's go reform our army now since these debuffs ain't that fun. Oh boy, the Balkan war has started and I guess the Ottomans are gonna get destroyed. Serbia, you can't have access to the sea, what are you crazy? I know this will be shocking, but the uh, Balkan League won the war. Shocking, second Balkan war has started as well. Sure, we can have Albania exist and just get their borders. Oh boy, it's 1914 and we're just at the start of World War I. Now one problem that I do have is no manpower. I'm actually surprised by how little we have. No, we're just waiting for Franz Ferdinand to be assassinated in Sarajevo and then we can up our conscription so we'll be actually able to fight the war and crank out some more units. Uh oh, Franz Ferdinand has been assassinated. I wonder what will happen next. It's the 28th of July and war will start now. <laughs> Serbia has refused and it should begin. Oh boy. War has started, war has begun and I think we we'll won't exactly be able to hold Galicia Ludomeria for the longest but we will try our best for sure. Hey, our line is actually holding against the Russians and we have 25 to 1, 31 to 1 KD ratio so I would say that's good. Oh, Germany actually got to Brussels, that's, that's nice, I mean we are just holding kinda against Serbia, doing a few of what you might call it, counterattacks, but I doubt we'll achieve much. Oh boy, the Ottomans have joined the war and this will surely change the tide of it, right? Yo, the Germans did actually kinda push through at Cambrai, so... <laughs> Fingers crossed! Although we could shift these 15 divisions to try and push for Paris, let's do it. With the Russian attack repulsed, we're just waiting for Bulgaria to join the war, so they can attack Serbia from the east and really just eliminate them. Oh boy, Italy will declare war on us any minute now, I think. <laughs> I predicted it, the Italians did declare war on me, yay! Hey, we have broken through the Serbian lines and now I will try to push the advantage as much as possible and just try to encircle a few of their troops. You might think of Austria as incompetent on the sea, however, we did beat the Italian navy. Yeah, I desperately need to reinforce the Italian front so I'm gonna send a few troops from the east just the west so Mr. Svetozar Borovic from Boina can hold it. Dude, I just hope we can take care of Montenegro because it's taking way too long to finish off this front. Granted we didn't have a good army before but now we can at least fight somewhat. Oh boy, Bulgaria has finally joined the war. This means we can finally end Serbia for real, just as we were about to break them anyway, but yeah. Now from my experience Albania will join the war as soon as Serbia capitulates, so I already have 10 divisions on the case ready to invade. As predicted, the Serbian troops have entered Albania and now we have to rush into it to capitulate it as soon as possible. Now we just need to take Valona, so the Italian threat is secured here as well and then prepare for Greece to join the war. I think we can also start our offensive against the Russians because they aren't that strong anymore and I'm pretty sure the Germans did do a number on them. So as we are closing in the Serbian pocket we're also gonna advance against Russia however I am kind of worried about Romania joining the war any minute now since I think timeline wise we're somewhere around that era. All we really need to do is capture Belgrade and then they should capitulate right? Yep. As predicted, as soon as we captured Belgrade, they have fallen, the resistance ended. Now we'll reposition this army to garrison the border with Greece, or at least 
the majority of it, while half of it I will split off to fight Romania. Oh goody, Romania joined the war and I'm pretty sure they don't stand a chance. They don't even have their garrison, well, their border fully garrisoned. We took Bucharest without any fighting, like these dudes just went around them and went straight to Bucharest. Now we're just gonna go to Galatia and the Asi. So they capitulate and maybe we can even open up a bit more of the Russian front. I'm pretty sure we can just go on the massive offense against Russia and make sure they capitulate soon enough. Because, well, by the looks of it, their front is somewhat collapsing and it isn't holding up. I just hope that the Ottomans can survive for a bit longer and we can just start doing stuff against Italy mainly. <laughs> Let's go, the Romanians have capitulated and now it's just us versus Russia again. Boys, some very sad news. Mr. Franz Joseph has died and thus our new monarch is Karl I. Oh shocking, the state of Thessaloniki has been proclaimed. I guess we have to go fight it. Oh well. Oh boy, we're experiencing famine at an alarming rate. Guys, worst case scenario, we can just negotiate with Pen friends for a separate peace deal, right? Right? Oh, finally, the Russians are collapsing, the March Revolution happened in this timeline and now just let Russia collapse already so we can try to end the war with France. Yay, Poland exists and they're a German puppet, sadly. Bro, no way, we actually pushed into Verona. Let's try to exploit it as much as possible. <laughs> Russia, can you capitulate already, please? Like, you're, you're not doing well, you already had the March Revolution, just... just just surrender, okay? So as soon as Russia capitulates, it will be over for the Entente Tant. We are doing... Well, we have made some progress in Italy. We didn't make much of it though, but still, progress is progress, especially in World War One. It's enough. I will just reposition my troops in... on the Russian Eastern Front, and I'm gonna take this one army Put us in the west here and just push straight to Paris. Let's do it like that. Finally, the Bolsheviks have a reason. We can divert these eastern troops to the west now. Let's go. The troops are arriving from the east. I guess we can go fight them now for real. Now the Treaty of brest should go into effect soonish at least, but it seems like it's taking its time a bit now. Okay, we have make a, made a breakthrough in the west. And now we can actually start pushing towards and walking towards Paris. So let's hope for the best. Good news, the negotiations have begun at Brest-Litovsk, which means we can just not worry about us losing in the East. I mean, it's true we don't have any troops here, but still, yeah, no, it's not exactly the best to lose at Galicia or Demiria. Yo, the siege of Paris has begun and we're actually winning it. All resources into it. I mean, Russia has pretty much capitulated, so I think the Entente taunt, taunt, taunt should just well collapse with it as well. Yeah, it's a GG. Paris will fall. France is done for. <laughs> Entente surrendered. We have won. It was Austria-Hungary that made the crucial breakthrough at Cambrai. I mean, Reims and Sedan. Look at this beauty, France just being overrun with. Fr German and Austro-Hungarian troops. Truly Entente Town's worst nightmare. Yay, we got strikes just in time for... Well, the peace deal to kick in. Ah, yes. The war is concluded in the west. <laughs> and now we have to focus our entire army to the, back to the east, I guess. Oh, armistice is broken on the eastern front. Let's go. <laughs> By the looks of it, the Russians don't really have any troops in the east. And now we can just destroy them, really. Wait, what? Serbia wants to go at it again? Okay, I guess we have to <laughs> reshuffle our forces back to it. Yeah, we're gonna refuse, obviously. Oh, we even got the Treaty of Brest-Litovsk now, thus truly ending the war with everybody. War has ended, and thus we stand victorious. The Treaty of Frankfurt should collapse any minute now and we should get Lombardy and Veneto. Fun fact, most of our factories are gone now because post-war economy has just kicked in. Nice. That's a nice looking post-war world. You can see Germany got Middle Africa, the Ottomans, they're controllers of the Middle East, we got Venetia and Lombardia 
and Bulgaria. They have greater Bulgaria now. At this point I will play for a bit more, but then I'll end the video, I think. <laughs> well, we could have a... just... you know, a puppet kingdom. I prefer not to. <laughs> Yay, Italy has imploded into the kingdom and the Republic. I think France should be next and then the UK too. Bruh, I made a mistake. I should have claimed these lands before. <laughs> I will do the Federalist reform as the final act of this video since I don't think anything more will happen that we haven't seen before. Let's see what this does and then it's it. With this I will end the video. I hope you all enjoyed it, I hope you all had fun watching it. Otherwise I wish you a very nice rest of your day and if you have made it this far why not just give us a selfie, anyway, just, it doesn't cost you anything. Anyway, see you all next time, bye bye!